Well, thousands are expected to come out to the 23rd annual Bakersfield Relay for Life this weekend. And 23ABC's Leslie Marine is live from Oildale with how each of these people is helping find a cure for cancer. Leslie? Jackie, this tent that we're standing in is being used for survivors and those people who are currently battling cancer. Organizers say Bakersfield has one of the largest relay for life in the world and for survivors and those people who have lost family members to cancer. The money raised here represents hope. So it was like ripping half of me out. For the last five years, Stan Ferguson has fought breast cancer with his wife, Susan. We went to Beverly Hills Cancer Center for treatments. And so rather than going down for a treatment, because after that we went to a deli, we made it a deli trip. Stan lost Susan earlier this month to the deadly disease. She's with me every day. Every day I look, I see her. But this weekend, he'll remember her. They were always in honor of. Now they'll be in memory, so that'll be difficult. Thousands will join Stan in walking laps to raise money in hopes of one day finding a cure for cancer. Yeah, that's the whole idea is have more birthdays. Patsy Romero was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2010. We brought New Year's in in the hospital, my husband and I. He was laying in bed with me and we were crying. Now a survivor, she has seen firsthand how every dollar raised at Relay for Life can help people fight back. What really uh, helped me get through it was that I've been volunteering for 22 years and I have seen what a difference re research has made. And I thought to myself, you know, there's hope. And there is hope. Last year, Relay for Life raised nearly $1.7 million. And in the last 20 years, the deaths from breast cancer has reduced 32%. Just a lot of things have happened, and a lot of it is because of research, the progress we're making. So it's all about hope and finding a cure. And what they do is what kept Susan alive. Teams have already raised over $1 million this year. The event officially kicks off tomorrow at 6 a.m. with opening ceremonies at 945. Back to you guys.